Hello everybody, my name is John and welcome to our channel. Welcome to the continuation of the upgrade of the motor, the ESC, the receiver and the servo. Now if you saw my last video it was to remove all of the original parts, which has obviously been done, but I have had to do a few modifications. The reason being that if I'd have done the modifications on camera, it would have been another three hour video, which nobody wants, trust me. So, first job I did was move the battery tray that was on the left, located, well, what would you say about there? Yeah, over to the end point, and then <clears throat> the one that was located here, I've moved to here, which has meant that I've had to drill two more holes, countersink them so that I can mount that like that. That was important because I'm going to be placing the uh, new ESC, here, hopefully. Let's make, <laughs> I hope it's gonna fit. Time will tell, time will tell. Um, what else have I done? Yes, uh, in here I've taken a little notch out of there, and as you can see, that's just to make room for the ESC there. Is there anything else I have done modification-wise? Yes, 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 one more thing. Uh, do you remember that I was saying that the, um, the server that I bought was far too small for this car? Well, as you can see, it's supposed to be mounted over to here and it's not. So all I've done is drilled a hole and put a screw there just to hold it a little bit. When I get the new servo, I will obviously fit that, but I don't have it as of yet. So I think job number one would be to fit the servo. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that like that for now. The servo was those two. Sorry for not tidying up. I know it's messy everywhere, but obviously I've got all of the screws in various places and if I'd have tidied up, I'd have mixed them all up and then I wouldn't be able to find anything. And that's the excuse I gave to my wife. Right. There we go, right, that's in. So I'm just gonna put that cable there to get rid of it for now. If you saw on my last video, when I took this off, the drive shaft fell out, but I did notice in editing and obviously put it back in. Um, right, now, motor has to go in now because this has to be mounted underneath, like so. I thought that had to come out. Okay, well, job number one is, I have to show you what I've done here. I decided to uh, use different screws on that because I wasn't risking the tubes to be screwed up. Too big. There we go. If you notice then, keep this in mind when you're mounting it. Yes, that does fit like that and can be put into position but now these wires here, see, they're hard and they don't fit. So I'm gonna have to do it, mount it that way, or probably more likely that way, so the wires are facing upwards. So keep that in mind if you're doing this conversion yourself. I haven't put any um, Loctite on these for one and only reason that I do not have any. Um, but my wife has been kind enough to allow me to use some of her nail polish that apparently is a very good substitute. Makes sense, you know, it is quite hard and whatnot. Should I do it like, what, do it like, there, 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 there. Right, let's get these screws out first, come on. where it's lined up. So, you do not need a lot of this. In fact, you need very little of this. Very, very little. I do have proper Loctite coming. I, I just bought some online and I'm now just waiting for it. Oh, it's an amazing color. It's going to make the car look so much better. As you see, very little. 
but in the case of Loctite or nail polish, a little goes a very long way. As he promptly drops it down and gets nail polish on his fingers. Oh, did anybody see my mistake? Did you notice, because I did this deliberately to make sure that you guys saw what I did wrong. Uh, what I did wrong was the thread going into the motor. There's only a tiny little bit, and obviously I did the nail polish much further up, so it will have no chance of ever getting uh, being held on that thread. So I need to take it out and do it on the last little bit. I don't know how quick you have to be with this stuff. I assume quite quick, although I do see my wife blowing her nails for several minutes. So. Okay. Try again, shall we? That pinion is pinion gear is definitely definitely tight enough. So right. You need to make sure I mean I, I do have to do I have to take that off again? No, I don't because I don't have the center plate now, so that's why that was easier to get out. But the the bearing has to be in the U part of that so that you can get the screws back in. If you wonder why I always undo the steering on the bottom rather than the top, it's because when you undo it at the top, this bearing keeps on falling out. I lost one the other day. So, right, just trying to line that up underneath. There we go. This is the original screws that came out. in my left hand. taking the screw out again if it chews up one more time yeah taking it out and getting a different one oh if I have a different one of course I 
think I'm going to have to go screw hunting. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to put the incorrect screw size in, so give me a second, please. Okie dokie. I am going to keep an eye on those two screws just in case they start to come out, but I didn't want to put any uh, Loctite on them right now. Okay, that's those two. So, let's just see where everything is. Uh, actually, while I'm here, I'm just going to finish tightening up the uh, differential. Smooth. Before I forget that, put that back on now. Right, so this is what I'm thinking, okay? That's back on, just fits. ESC down, 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 like so. Like that. And that, like that there. And battery, like that. So hopefully it will all fit. Um, I drilled a hole in the top because the ESC was going to go up there for the fan, but then decided not to use it. So I instead cut that out and put some netting on the bottom just to give more air going in because I know that overheating is an issue. So before I go forward, is there anything else that needs doing here? I don't think so. So I'm going to put this back together for now, and if need be, take it apart in a few minutes. You saw what I did wrong, right? I've already tried to test you once, so obviously I can't have that rubbish again, so this was my fault. Gotta put the block back in and the cover there. Good. Try again, shall we? So many more wires uh, on this one. Don't even know what that is. Um, I assume something to do. Well, I don't know. I'll just be guessing on that one. Um, I have put a little bit of uh, tape on already. Look how much longer all of these are. Uh, also, one thing that I do have to point out as well: the connectors that I got, due to the thickness of these wires, would not go on with their um, insulation on. So once everything is plugged into position, I'm going to have to put some tape around until I get some new connectors. But the place where I'm going to get the new connectors is too far away to just bomb up there now and grab them. So, okay, let's see how 
I'm going to just tighten that up just so I can get it out of the way for the minute. So, bending these wires underneath, you see, without snapping them. And then, see how that fits there. See, I like that. And then I'm thinking, as you see, I've already put some tape on there because I have sort of already seen that. I'll put it there. Go either way to go. Does the receiver fit there? Yes, it does. I mean, I could always just fit that a little bit further up there, couldn't I? It's not going to be the worst thing on the planet. So let's take the tape off and get it fitted. I also need somewhere for the on-off switch, so maybe that can go, I don't know, maybe that can go that way. That works. Oh right, just have run out of this red, red tape, so I need to go and steal some more from my wife. That's in, that's in, that's in. Battery can go in at any point. That can. So many long wires. This one is going to get wrapped around that. And then go. There. I'll do that one afterwards. These, look at the size of them. They're not exactly the most bendable, flexible. Oh well. Right, let's get the receiver in. Do, 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 do. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, I don't sound so enthusiastic, um, which definitely isn't the case. I can't wait to get this on the tarmac and try it. But the time is now. Uh, half past 12 and I've been trying to get this video started since 8.30 this morning but every time I thought that you know I, I could fit that there or that there didn't fit and it's just been one of those mornings where everything's sort of not working out so well but I'm hoping that the solution that I've come up with does in fact work I mean worst case scenario if it doesn't fit it'll just go I'll just drive it without a shell on at the minute, but I can definitely see why everybody is upgrading their uh, their um, bodies because nothing fits underneath the original. All right, I'm hoping that there's still enough room there for the battery, or is this a big faux pas? Everything's in place. Oh, that's fallen off already. So that doesn't work. And let's do one thing. Let's do a quick test while we're here without letting these wires touch for obvious bang bang reasons. Stay apart. This has to go into uh, channel number two with the black. So you've got channel one, two, three, four. So it's the second one uh, down black on the right hand side okay now the servo I believe is 
I can't remember. So we're just going to try it this way, and if it doesn't work, we shall try it the other way. So how are we doing? All the wires are enough bang bang distance away from each other. Uh, controller. And on. Fan on, that's on. Do we have steering? That seems to be in reverse. Yes, it does. All right. I uh, can't remember how to do this. Oh, I can change that afterwards. I can't. I don't think it's that hard to change it. Yeah, I'll, I'll look afterwards. Right, but does it run? There we go, ladies and gentlemen. It does, in fact, run, which is great. Okay, so there we are. I'm going to do some cable management here because I hate it when cables are like this everywhere. I, I've only found my large ones. I have no small ones, which is very frustrating because it's going to look even worse with big chunky cable ties. But as I said, I'm going to have to tape all of these up anyway. But from what I can see, everything seems to be working fine. So it's just a case now of tidy it up and then I'll get it up on the roof for a quick shakedown and then we'll get it out on the road to see how fast it goes on a simple two little two S. Okay guys, see you soon. Okay, here we are out uh, outside of our house. The reason being that on the roof, we just, I was gonna smash it up. So I decided to come out here to a nice road where we can just put it down. It's currently at 8.9, which makes me very suspicious because I don't think we can walk that fast, but let's see how we get on. Okay, this is the first run. Let's see how we get on, shall we? Accelerate slowly, and then go. Jesus. Oh my That's god! Crazy. That was a four-wheel spin! Or slide, I mean. That was faster than 19 kilometers an hour. Come on! Five. 65 kilometers an hour, that makes more sense. Let me just drive it forward and get the steering uh, straight. Yep. on it do I? <laughs> Let's go over and see. Oh no. <laughs> I just can't believe the speed that this is going. Yeah. It's bonkers. Did you see that it was wheeling at, at full throttle? Yeah. 
Yeah. That's absolutely mental, Colin. Slow mo. Hello everybody, welcome to Smart City. I have managed to find this very large parking lot for our speed run. Now, some of you have obviously seen that we have already tested this out, it went okay. But we needed a bigger area to uh, sort of see the top speed of this thing. So, let's get on, shall we? Okay, we're then gonna do one quick speed run, see how it handles. Go, Colin. Okay, we've just had a problem where it was only sort of driving at half throttle. We believe that this was due to overheating. It says that we've only done 44 kilometers an hour, which is just complete rubbish. I mean, this is going much faster than stock, so we don't know what's going on with that, whether it's this that's broken or there's something wrong with the satellites today. I suspect it could be the satellites around the world that are not working very well, so I'm gonna to have to send an email about that. Um, but I've just turned it off for, oh, I had just turned it off for a second. I'm gonna let it cool down and then we'll do a quick speed run again. Okay, uh, the shell's been off for a bit. We've just quickly done a, a quick sort of speed run up and down and it seems to be back to fully working operation. So, we shall give it another wang. Same things happen. Well, hello everybody and welcome back. I know you didn't expect to be back at the blue mat, but there was a problem. Shortly after the last run um, that you just saw on the video, uh, the pinion came loose. Whee! So there wasn't really a lot I could do about that. So we came home and I have made a very big mistake. I have managed to blow up my brand new ESC, my brand new speed controller, go bang, bang. It go to the bang, bang. Um, basically, I, I, I still don't know how I did it. But when I was at home, I just fixed that. I was just dealing with the motor cables and somehow I just crossed the wires. Boop. There was no, you know, my defense, which I have none of. Um, there was no like big, um, you know, there was no fire. There was no, you know, that distinctive a burning smell that you get from electronics that you ruin. There was none of that. I've taken this apart and I've had a look. There's nothing distinctive that it has blown at all. I don't think that's anything. I shall do it. Please focus, camera. Okay, let me press that button at the side. I think it focuses it. Oh, there it is. Is... that anything? Sorry about the wiggling camera when I touch it, it wiggles. Is that anything? That black there? I don't think it is. Then here's the other part. I mean like seriously, it looks brand new. Which it is, obviously. So, the bottom line being that I has gone and broken it. Stop wiggling. Um. I had the voltmeter out and checked the connections and whatnot, and the symptoms are as such. The servo works absolutely fine for the steering, perfectly fine, but the accelerator forward and back, all I get is a bit of a click, click sound. Nothing more, which is a real shame. I don't think it's the motor. I honestly do believe it is this. So, this is not the fault 
of the ESC. It is purely my fault for touching the connectors together. It just goes to show, you know, that even when you're being really careful, like I thought I was being, you can still slip up. Um, so that's trash right now. Um, I have already ordered a brand new one of these and a brand new motor, just in the off chance that I've done any damage to that as well. But now, this is bad. This is really bad because this will stop me running my super duper really fast car. However, I've just been editing the footage that you've just seen and wow, doesn't it look fast? Doesn't it look impressive? Um, 5,200 kV motor makes this move like shit off a blanket. No, that would be stick like shit off a blanket, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's move on. Uh, it was just on the standard 2S battery, so for it to go that fast is really impressive. I've, ironically, last night, I, um, when I couldn't sleep, I did that old, ooh, look, they're selling two 3S uh, batteries. I think they were 3,000 milliamp each for like uh, 45 euros delivered, so I went, bye now. So they're on their way and now I can't run them in the car because it's it's got a broken ESC. Um, do I recommend buying the parts that I just purchased? Well, this was not its fault. This was user error. The idiot was using it wrong. Um, if we go on pure performance, hell yeah. Why the hell would you not? This is cheap. Uh, the motor's cheap. And it runs off, you know, the, the original battery pack, which is fabulous. This controller. Now, on one of the last clips, you saw my son driving in a wobbly line like this. And I, when I was watching it, I'm like, what? It's got a gyro. It's supposed to be staying straight. And of course it was. It was not his fault. It was because the car wheels were up in the air. And every time the wheels came down, the servo tried to adjust it, and my son tried to adjust it, so there was that issue where you can't steer a bloody car if the front wheels are in the air. It's just that simple, isn't it? So that's why I now see that everybody that's doing speed runs has a bit of a, a lip at the front to hold the front down, which makes a lot more sense. Um, I mean, installation, mega simple, it's got the same gear on it, you know, everything was simple. You've seen that on the video already. I've just seen that that's loose, obviously, after the runs today. Um, and would I suggest that you did it? Well, for the price, yes, definitely. Did you see the speed? Um, that's the reason why I've already bought another one of those and those, because I want to get it back on the road as soon as possible, especially now I found that parking lot. My God, that's going to be a lot of fun. What you did miss and what I am so upset about is that I'd also had in my car the uh, drone. And the intention was to have this going like a bat out of hell, not shit off a blanket, okay. Uh, bat out of hell with the drone following it and passing over it and getting some really cool shots. What actually ended up happening because of the fact that I didn't get much running with this today, I had to add the footage of the other day in, which I wouldn't usually do. That was just quick footage that we took in case it caught fire on the first run. I always try to, if I ever install anything new or do anything new, I always try to have at least one camera running to catch the, the mayhem that follows. So that's why I, I did in fact put that um, mobile phone footage in, just so that you could see that. And as you heard me say slow-mo to my son, it's the bit that both uh, Colin and myself like doing, and you only saw a little bit of it, because of course the slow-mo caught me going straight into the curb. And once again, that was my fault because I was looking up the road to see whether a car was coming. I thought I had a car, so I looked up the road, looked down, and by that point, because it's going so bloody fast, it, it was already on, you know, heading towards the accident. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I apologize for the sort of the slightly bitty nature of this, this video. It wasn't intended that way. Uh, it was just because things go wrong, and you know, things go wrong. Better that I do them wrong, and you don't do them wrong. So. When you're handling your electronics, ladies and gentlemen, there's something called, where is it? Unplugging your battery. Please do that and save yourself the nightmare of what I've just had to go through.
by the way, I wasn't running these connectors for all those people laughing and screaming at the at the screen. I just done these just to make sure I had direct connection to make sure that everything was working before I took this apart. I took this apart through frustration to see what was going on. Um, so that's not how I was running it today. I'd actually managed to get everything underneath the shell and it looked great and it was fabulous. And, and then, well, you, you know, you've just heard the end result. If you like this video, please hit the like button and hit that subscribe button as well, if you really, really want to. Uh, and obviously that notification bell as well. Uh, have a great evening, day, whenever you're watching this video and take care of yourselves. Bye bye.